Donna, why'd you come out here today? Well, um, I'm staying at the resort and I was coming out of the parking lot and I saw them hanging the flag and my heart just sank. So I spun around and came here instead of going to the beach. I have two nephews and a niece that were in the Marines. I have a um, brother-in-law that's in the Army and I just came here to pay my respects. I think it's sad. Um, I'm sure it's something that the gentleman wanted to do, but my hack was out to the family. It sounds like you know what that family stress might be like to have yeah. someone serving in the military. Could you just sort of tell us what that's all about? Well, you know, these young kids, they just want to go over and fight for our country. And, you know, with all the danger going on, and, you know, I just give them the most respect. You know, I don't even know this gentleman, and, you know, I'm sure when he comes by, I'll, the tears will just start flowing. It's, I feel so bad for the families, but they're doing this to you know, give us freedom. How are you feeling right now? Uh, very sad. It just brings home what's going on all over the world. It makes your heart very heavy. You knew uh, Nick Exaros? Yes, sir. Could you tell me about him? Just an amazing person, you know. Just an amazing, amazing young individual. Extremely intelligent, extremely bright. Always happy. Always had a smile on his face. Always loved being around people, you know. And he was truly, truly loved by this community and by everyone that was surrounded. And why are you out here today? It's, you know, it's the least I could do. I, I didn't really know that this was going on right now. Otherwise, I'd be a little bit more prepared. I was driving by and I saw the flag and I knew immediately what it was. So I pulled right over, and I, you know, I just. Just, you know, just want to be there for his family, you know, friends, to show my support, and, you know. Tough day for Yarmouth, huh? Yes, sir. Tough day for the Marine Corps, tough day for Yarmouth, tough day for everyone that's lost someone in this war. I have a son who's in the Marines, currently stationed um, permanent duty in Okinawa, Japan. Uh, just something we felt we needed to do to support the family because it could have been uh, any of our sons or daughters. Are there lessons we can take away from something like this? What are you gonna do, you know? War is war, you know, people die, it's very tragic, and I mean, when it hits a community like this, it's just, I guess the only lesson you can take is just be there for his family and, you know, be there for, for his loved ones and just show your support.